Hi, I'm Tony Esqueda from Yamaha, and I'm here to show you the new MX-49 music synthesizer. The MX-49 is a 49-key synthesizer with a thousand sounds from Yamaha's professional line of synthesizers, the Motif XS, Motif XF, and Mo X8. It shares all of the same uh, wave ROM that have all those great sounds that you've been accustomed to in much higher priced synthesizers, but yet in a small and portable package so that you can have all sorts of professional sounds but have it easy to carry around and it doesn't take up a lot of space. Uh, the MX-49 has several things built into the user interface, so it's not only great sounding, but very easy to use. Uh, all the controls are on the left-hand side, as they are on all of our professional synthesizers, so you have up to 12 different controls that are assigned to the four different knobs. Uh, in addition to that, you have a very easy control panel set out for doing transposition. And also, if I want to switch octaves, Now inside the MX-49, the tone generation system has all of those great sounds that you've been accustomed to in Yamaha professional synthesizers, including the Concert Grand Piano. So inside the MX-49 is that same great 9-foot Concert Grand CF3S piano uh, that sounds something like this. All the way up and down the range of the keyboard, and all the way down to the bottom. And of course, this is a velocity sensitive keyboard, so it allows you to play different ranges of dynamics by simply hitting the keys harder or softer. Now, along with a great piano sound, there's a wide variety of different sounds and palettes within the synthesizer. And of course, with all of those different sounds, you want to make sure that it's very easy to be able to select those sounds. So the interface is set up so that all of the sounds are divided into categories. So no matter where you are on the keyboard, if you want to find a specific sound, every one of the buttons on the MX is labeled with a particular instrument category. And all I have to do is select that category and then simply turn the dial to go to a specific place. If I want to find bass sounds, I push the bass button. If I want to find organ sounds, I push the organ button, and so on. Very easy to get around on. If I would like to layer or split any particular combinations of sounds, I have a layer button. I have a split button. So layering two sounds, such as this piano sound and some type of string sound, all I have to do is select the layer button, and it will play both sounds simultaneously. Pushing the layer button again, it's a single sound. It's that easy. If I'd like to split the keyboard, the split button works in a similar way. My keyboard is split in half. By hitting the split button, I have a split point I can change by just holding the button down and then, of course, touching a key. So it's very easy to operate. Uh, in addition to this, you can combine up to three different sounds uh, by simply hitting the select button and it takes me to a performance area. So this way I can actually have several sounds playing at the same time with an arpeggiator running, with a rhythm pattern playing, and create uh, all sorts of interesting combinations of sounds playing simultaneously. Of course the knob controls are completely accessible while I'm playing. In addition to all of these great things in performing on the MX, I also have the ability to use it with a computer. It has a built-in audio and MIDI interface, so I can control uh, different recording softwares with the MX, but I can also send information, both MIDI information and I can send audio information from the MX just using a simple USB cable. Uh, it also comes with a complete production package of software. It comes with a copy of recording software made by Steinberg called Cubase AI6. And this allows me to record up to 32 tracks of audio, 48 tracks of MIDI, and has a, a host of different types of VST instruments on board. The MX-49 also comes included with an instrument called the YC3B, which is a virtual B3 type or electric organ type. And then it also comes with a copy of Prolog, which is a modeling analog synthesizer. Um, in addition to that, there's also a lot of other great things that you can do with this, uh, such as for performance, you can take a simple USB thumb drive, plug it into the device jack in the back, and you can play WAV files uh, at 44.1 uh, 16-bit. 
uh, format and you can play back any audio tracks in that format directly from a USB drive and play the keyboard simultaneously. Uh, the MX also comes in the format of uh, the 61 key version, the MX-61, and the only difference between the MX-61 and the MX-49 is that the MX-61 has 61 keys. Other than that, the instruments are identical uh, in the way that they perform and uh, the way that you get around on the product. So a very, very uh, innovative keyboard uh, in a much uh, more compact and portable uh, type format, but with all the professional sounds that you would expect to find from a Yamaha synthesizer. To learn more about the MX-49, please go to fullcompass.com or contact your Full Compass sales representative. I'm Tony Esqueda from Yamaha here at Full Compass, and this is the MX-49 synthesizer. Mm -hmm.